Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading August 19th to August 25, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we're going to jump right into it. Well, a card I cut off. Right, I think that that's good enough and uh, let's cut and let's see what uh, we got for you. So the first one which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that will be the Tower card. Afterwards, it is the uh, Four of Cups which stands for the positive aspect of the week. And then the last one is going to be the Tree of Swords, which represents the guidance that Saru is offering to you. Now, um, I will start from afar. Now, I know that um, many of you guys, I mean, the statistics are showing me that you guys prefer reading card by card. But unfortunately, if I go card by card in this reading, it's going to shift drastically toward the end. So I will say a few words at the start, just so I can make the things more clear, okay? Now, it looks like that this week is going to be very lucky for you. And this luck is going to fall exactly where you need it, right? So let's say that you are kind of like experiencing a, um, a disgusting time into your career. And this is where your luck is going to strike you or it's going to strike that situation, offering you an impending change, once in a lifetime opportunities and all these kind of stuff. Now, however, with the next cards up to the wheel, after the wheel of fortune, they do represent your effort. So it's not going to be an effortless um, opportunity. All right. It will require a lot of, of push from your behalf mainly to uh, push yourself, you know, to change something within your environment or to change so something with yourself or a, a push where you will have to simply um, not retaliate, but let's say deflect um, threats, you know, or uh, or kind of like being ready to do, to go through 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 hell in order to take on this opportunity and, and these kind of stuff. What I'm trying to say here is while the topic is extraordinary, all right, and it is, it is a thing that offers you everything you needed, you have to bust your ass in order to get there, all right, or to get that. It's not going to be for free, that's my point, right? So that being said, before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. Wheel of Fortune is the first one, followed by the next one, which is the challenger standing here. It is the tower. Afterwards, it is the Four of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one that we do have 
is going to be the tree of cup of the tree of swords which stands for the guidance the tower is offering to you so wheel of fortune like we said it is the look of the draw the look of the hard work if you want to say it that way it is uh, the impending change that comes around and present us with like i said like once in a lifetime opportunity it is the card saying that your situation that face a wall that it is set on how it is going to be set in stir once again <clears throat> the accompanied card here is going to be the seven of pentacles the formation it is a uh, active neutrals and as active neutrals the seven of pentacles here represents the uh the timing all right it's like you do have a clock ticking and you can't afford wasting a lot of time wasting a lot of time is gonna call is gonna make the, the window of opportunity smaller and smaller and smaller until it's impossible for you to get through so the way i see it here it is that this uh this way out for you this key to resolution to your problems either into your marriage or either into your career has to be taken without putting much thought for it i mean it's it's no different than um I don't know, it's it's kind of like a celluloid tale that I'm going to tell you, but um, let's say that you're going through abusive relationship and suddenly someone appears who is your, who appears to be the knight in your, your knight in the shining armor and you shouldn't put a second thought running away with him. It's as it's, it's simple as that, right? Or you are struggling with a very difficult project with in a very noxious environment through colleagues into your work and your boss says you know what i have an open place into this department if you want it is yours and what you do you don't think about it you say yes i want it god damn it i want it yeah it is it is exactly what i wanted so it's it's as simple as that guys but don't 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 make mistake here you know it will be frightening it will be frightening because you will not do this change will require you to change either you to to abandon a old, old lifestyle or to abandon old habits as well it will transform you and that transformation itself is going to be difficult for you so it's like starting new life, right? Or improving your life, but through you changing yourself, if, if that makes sense. So the uh, next card, it is the transformation itself. And that is going to be the tower. That is the challenge that you need to face. So in this case, I said it before, I say it again, you cannot build up a new brothel using the old hookers it's impossible i mean if you are to build up yourself new image or new life you have to build it with new material okay so you can't be the same person you can't resort to the same resources <clears throat> and you 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 simply you know you need to find a, a new ways how you are to tackle with the future that is to come and that is a transformation itself giving you straight away an example of it let's say that you're going through abusive marriage and finally you do have you found that your let's say wife or husband doesn't matter is cheating on you and that is your prerequisite that is your once in a lifetime change for you to file for a divorce okay or well, you cannot any longer rely on these means that your wife or husband have been given to you the money for example or you will have to move out in a different place uh, or under a rent for example and and this is going to be stressful it's going to be a, a a thing that you are not used without but you will have to should you want a way out here the accompanied card is going to be the six of pentacles the formation it is a uh, <clears throat> active uh active neutrals and so with the six of pentacles it does look like that you you can actually resort to the help of some people which are around you here with this card just so you know uh that this help is going to just postpone that difficult time of transforming but it's not gonna take it away so it's it's like you're pushing it further into the future and in my opinion in these kind of cases the faster it goes away, the better, or the faster you go through it, the better, all right? There is no need for you to try to, to borrow time because this is what you do. When you, when you seek help from someone, 
in this uh, in this situation of yours it it takes away you know your struggle all right and you think oh well that's resolved my problems wrong because you can't always rely on the help of this person and as soon as the help of this person is gone you have to face those circumstances so the so the sooner you uh, <clears throat> you overcome those those uh, challenging circumstances on your own, the better you are and the faster you're gonna get back on your feet. And now the life is gonna look much more brighter, you know, it's gonna be much more dappled with joy and uh, and with exhilaration as well. It's, it will be beautiful, really, because the War of Fortune kind of gives you the, the chance, the opportunity, you to be the captain of your ship and to control the wheel of your future. Now, the next card, it is about the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Four of Cups. So, Four of Cups is very peculiar into this place. It's, uh, it, to me at least, in this follow-up, it kind of represents your mental strength, and I will tell you why. Now, the Four of Cups, it's a, a card displaying a person who is... Um, stuck with uh, the these cups that he has for himself you know which represents the past emotions or the past experiences or whatever and while the new cup it's offered to him as a, a new opportunity he needs extraordinary mental strength to peel aside you know to glance away from what he is over consuming i would say here all right so that card here represents your mental strength realizing that you, I would say, deserve better, or that you can go for more, or that you need a change as well. But either way, you are going to find out that throughout the week, and that is going to be in a positive aspect, of course, that, you know, it's simply that position of yourself can, that doesn't have to be that bad. As a matter of fact, you don't have to be in that position at all, uh, a position of stress and position of, of poignancy. And uh, only thing that you got to do is gather up your courage and be ready to go through this, I let's say, unpleasant symptoms, okay, that the transformation require from you. So in order to, uh, to be better in the future, to be more happier. Um, now that I think of, uh, and it's, uh, I'm thinking of right now for my grandpa, he's not among the living. Um, and... Uh, well, he had that, I think it was MS or something, and uh, in order for him to live long, he had to quit smoking, and it's a transformation, you know, you need to, and quit drinking as well, you know, so you have to change your lifestyle, it's difficult, it's, it's unpleasant, but if you want to live a happy life, you gotta do it, so it, it could be as well something from that sort, you know, I'm not saying that you're going to suffer health issues, but it is with such kind of a magnitude, it is with such kind of a, uh, uh, an appliance to, to one situation. The accompanied card here is going to be the hangman and the formation, it is a, a passive, uh, passive supporters that we do have, and with the hangman here to the four of cups, uh, the more the time passes, really, the more you are, the more you are going to start realizing that being stuck into your current gains, you know, current gains meaning the abusive marriage or the difficult job that you do have, the more you're trying to convince yourself that you deserve that, you know, I mean, you, you, you ain't going to find better than that, than that, the more you will be unable to convince yourself and the more, the more you're going to start realizing that it's, it's, it's a thing that you simply have to break it's it's uh, a whole new world is waiting for you beyond the wall that you are facing and uh, it will be a shame and such a waste if you don't have the courage like i said to take the wind of change and to take advantage of this awesome opportunity this luck of the draw guys that you are to have throughout this week and the last card that we do have for you um gemini is going to be the tree of swords so that is the guidance. In Tree of Swords, uh, it's, it's telling us a couple of things here. First of all, it's telling us that you cannot fix the past. It's impossible, you know. Only thing that you can do is suffer through it. What I mean is that suffer and heal through it. So let's say you find out that your wife or husband is cheating on you. You cannot change that. I mean, they already cheated on you. So right now, you have to decide what to do. This thing, yeah, it's painful. I admit it, it's painful. 
but it gives you leverage. It, it gives you the, the weapon to do with this relationship whatever you like. So in order for you to do so, if you want to sleep through it, drink through it, you know, do whatever you like through it, but just go through it. Heal yourself from the pain, accept the truth, which is something that you cannot change, you know, and plan your next move according to this, you know, new circumstances which are appearing in this um, offer for a, a change, the look of the draw, as I said. The accompanied card here is going to be this, the Nine of Pentacles, the formation. It is a um, <clears throat> active enemies that we do have. So uh, here with the Nine of Pentacles, it looks like that you have to take the thing seriously, all right? And uh, simply that combination points that whatever is broken is beyond repair. So you don't have to put any kind of efforts to sustain it according to these cards. As a matter of fact, the, the fact that you are stuck and the fact that uh, it is so difficult that transformation to take place and it's so painful, it is because you delayed it for so long and uh, you try to make everything you can to make it work, either your project or your relationship or a friendship, you know, or, you know, the relationship in between you and your family, for example. Uh, it could be different uh, for every single one of you, but it isn't working. Why? Because there is no thing as being on the same page. There is no thing as a common ground in between you and the situation itself. So it's time to detach. It's as simple as that. It's time to find new fields of conquest which are waiting for you only if you can um, endure the, 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 the stressful evolution that you are going to go through, that your emotions most likely are going to go through. So that being said, Gemini, Geminis, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for July, uh, August, August, excuse me, August 19th to August 25th or 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.